I'm going to talk about the, uh, our future with the robot and uh, well, I'm going to give some ideas how we're going to accept more robots in our society and uh, how we can change our lifestyle with the robot. We need to make uh, uh, human-like behaviors for the robots, but uh, nobody knows, you know, the, how to, well, what, what is the natural behaviors in a daily situations. Well, psychologists, neuroscientists, you know, they have a knowledge about the very fundamental, basic uh, human behavior. However, they do not have uh, these ideas. Um, the natural behaviors, human-like behaviors in the daily situations, but the theater directors, they have uh, much knowledge about it. Right? They have professionals you know, to make uh, theaters. Therefore, I saw that it's quite important to work with the theater directors. And uh, well, maybe the 10 years ago, you know, I started the project, uh, which is a collaboration with the theater. The people th believe that the theater should be played by a human, human actor and actress. But actually, the robot can be a good actor or actress. So, so it, it was also the challenge, you know, um, in, in the uh, traditional theater activity. Last night, you know, I, you know, it was the first play in France, and we could get a pretty good success. And, uh, you know, the people, are, they give us a very, very positive opinions. And, and many people say that uh, they moved very much uh, by watching the theater. Um, and uh, they felt a uh, the human likeness and a human like mind uh, with the uh, mechanical looking android. And in the end, almost the end of the story, the theater, um, the robot says, please turn off the, my switch. The people uh, living with the robot, they didn't turn off the switch. And then, you know, the robot just say, wow, I, I want to see the moon. That moment was uh, quite dramatic, and uh, you know, I love that moment. And I, I guess you know, people could feel the very strong human-like emotions from the robot, from the android.